Howdy, partner. So you want to learn how to install patio misters? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to show you how to install a simple patio mister system. We're going to do it out here on our outdoor kitchen, on our pergola. If you want to check out the whole series of this outdoor kitchen build from the ground up, including the pergola and everything else, go ahead and get to the bottom right and hit the subscribe button. Once you hit the subscribe, you'll have access to our full library of videos on all of our outdoor improvements. Also, appreciate any likes and comments or questions that you got. Put them in the comment box. We'll get right back to you. So back to business. We bought this mister system, which this one's about 20 feet long off of Amazon. Um, never used it before. We're going to do a little review of it, how it works here. And then I'll go ahead and link it in the uh, description. So if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and check out the description. But it is really hot here. I know the sweater vest looks like it's cool. It is not. It's pushing 100 degrees. And I can't wait to have a nice mist coming down when we got the hot grill going and kind of cool us off. So this should be fun. It should be pretty easy to install. To take a look at what came with the kit. Again, this kit was very inexpensive. Uh, I want to say it was about 20 bucks for this 20 foot piece. You've got your basic uh, mister system here, some extra washers. It came with extra pieces for uh, the misters, a plug. You can trim this to fit, which we'll probably have to do. And then also an instruction sheet, as well as zip ties and these uh, little clamps that have nails on them. So we're gonna install these. There's a couple different ways that you can go ahead and mount it. We're gonna use O-rings. It'll show you how that works, but we'll also use some of these clamps. And instead of using these little zip ties, we bought a set of black zip ties, so that'll look better up here. So if you wanna stay tuned, we'll go ahead and get started over here, talk about some of the tips and tricks as we get through this project, and it should be done in just a minute. Thanks for watching. So if you have an outdoor spigot, we want to put a splitter on this. We have another hose running off, but you could go direct to that. You put the washer in that came with it. And then we put this splitter on, and that way we can go ahead and pick and choose which one we want the water to flow to. So once the water is flowed to that, you, this particular model has a six and a half foot initial lead. You could put a different lead hose on here if you wanted to just do a different hose somewhere. Depending on where you're doing a patio or on a uh, pergola or wherever you're doing it, you can kind of start your connection wherever you need to. But we're going to go ahead and clamp this on and then work it up here and start to attach it at the top. If we have an extra uh, nozzle, which I think we will on this side, they didn't give us a kit to connect two rubber lines. I wish they did, but it didn't come with the kit. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little glue, dab of super glue on the first nozzle because I don't want anything spraying off this way. And then we'll just keep on going. At the end, we'll probably have to trim and connect it. So we'll see that, but we'll go ahead and get this laid out and I'll show you how we're gonna get it attached both to the wall as well as to the pergola. So you don't want these to be too tight. You just wanna loop your uh, line, your wire line through here pretty loosely. And then about every foot and a half, you're gonna install one of these little clips. Now this clamp here has a nail on it and it'll work in stucco or wood siding or whatever else. But you kinda of wanna see what's gonna look like a good length. Let me get on the ladder for this one. We're gonna go up about a foot and a half Try to keep them in some sort of a line. If you want to paint this white or something, you could to make it blend a little more. We may do that later. You just want to nail it straight in. All right, we'll keep on going. So to attach it to the actual pergola or your patio awning or whatever, I'd like to rather use one of these O-rings, and you can just purchase these O-rings at any hardware store, paint them if you want to, or get them a certain color. So what you have to do, you gotta drill a pilot hole, and you wanna get a screw bit, a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than the O-ring. You're gonna drill a pilot hole. You already got one drilled. And then you're gonna go ahead and just screw in that O-ring. And what you can do is if you need to, you could use pliers. We're not gonna need to use pliers. So we've got that set up in there. And then we're gonna take our black zip ties and we're just gonna zip tie this water line to the O-ring. And I think that'll give it a nice finished look under here. And uh, we'll get working and we'll see how it goes after we get the whole thing set up, stay tuned. So if you need to trim these um, misters in order to be centered where you want, you can just cut this hose very easily with any sort of scissors. And then also what you can do is you push into this blue, these blue connectors. And if you push in, you can pull the hose out. And that'll allow you to trim the length in between so that you can get it to where it's just right for your centering. 
It also came with an extra plug and there's one at the end. So that you just push into the very end and that'll be the end of your line. So that plugs it. But then if you want to take that out again, you push in and pull out. It's very easy, but once it's in, it's self-connect and you can trim it very easily. Well, it took about half an hour, maybe a little less. We went ahead and installed all the zip ties and we pulled it nice and taut. It's the top black line with the water line. We put the misters there along the O-rings, had to do a little trimming and connect it. So now, if you want to come to this side, we'll see. We also ran this along the wall. What we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and paint that white so that way it'll be nice and not really show anything in the future. So let's turn this on and see how we are doing. Moment of truth. Oh, there we go. Night, a nice, nice mist. Very cool and refreshing. We got a little bit of breeze coming this way, but this is going to be real good. I have to make sure I don't get this all over the food, but uh, hope this helps you out again. This can be installed pretty much anywhere outside, and it definitely does feel good on a hot day. So simple and easy patio mister system in 30 minutes or less. If I can do this, you can too. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, good luck.